Good morning everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to talk about something really, really, really important in reading the Le Normand and this is the context. The concept of context is very, 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 very important in Le Normand reading. You had heard me more than once you know talking about context and how to apply the card to context because if you don't do that your reading may be you know not really accurate and clear disturbing bringing more stress on the table so we don't we don't want that when we come to the oracle when we ask a question we want our question to be answered with clarity and precision as well as providing you know the solution the advice so that we can create the desired outcome okay so what i mean by context is a single card has different layers of meaning for instance the bear is a card that represents money also someone big and bold also someone aggressive it can also represent a boss an executive someone that deals with finances it can also represent someone who wants to protect you and overprotecting mother, you know. But how to apply this? This is what, you know, a newbies to the normal get really stuck and really disturbed. But how to know which meaning to apply in the situation? So the thing is, when you create, when you phrase your question, you are putting yourself in the context. And I really encourage you, if you are new to the normal, to take a piece of paper and write down your question you know in front of you you can use uh, also a diary a notebook i do that a lot and i note my question i phrase it in a way that it will give me a clear answer you know clear question equals clear answer i phrase it in that way and then i read it again and i focus on it as i shuffle and deal my cards and then i know the card that had came out you know and put down the, the guidance and what comes up and then you know later on return to it when the situation had changed or evolved and see where I have got hits and where I have you know missed some kind uh, of the message from the cards so putting your question clear down is important and then you apply the meaning of the cards to the context to your question for instance Will I get this job promotion? I get the store and the house. Okay? So, people who are new to the normal will say, oh, there is, uh, you know, you're moving house. There is a change coming. You are moving from the house. But moving from the house does not answer my question, will I get the job? Will I get the promotion? Okay? Instead, you apply the meaning of the cards. Uh, with your context, for instance, the stalk will be a change, positive change. It's, you know, um, going from one place to another, but it's uh, like a leap, you know, moving uh, upwards, upgrading. And the house is toward consolid consolid oh, Sorry, I'm missing my words here. I'm mixing my English and my French. We are going to something really structure, to something really solid. Okay, so I get my yes. Yes, you're going to get the job because I see you moving to something more, you know, square, more tangible, more structured and more secure. I get my answer. Okay. For instance, another question that uh, we can ask is, uh, does John loves me? And I get the snake and I get the, uh, the key. Okay, so new to the normal, you know that snake is not good. It's like, you know, treachery. Maybe he has another woman. Maybe he's cheating on me. But the key here is something, you know, good. It's success. So be successful with another woman or treachery, successful treachery. What do I use? So apply the, the qualities of the card to your context. You ask the card, does John love me? The snake. The snake, if you had seen my latest video on the snake and the fox, I explained that in there. 
Um, the snake is compelling. The snake is seductive. It's charming, you know. Think of, you know, the people who plays the flute and, you know, we have the cobra who, who dance. Same thing here. So, we got that and then we get the key, okay? So, this tells me that even if Jean or John is seductive, compelling, maybe he's the he's like the bad, the, the bad boy, the bad guy, there is an alchemy between you and him, shown here by the snake, okay? And the key is always a yes. No matter what, even if the question is not what you want to hear, the key goes for the yes, like the sun. These are big yeses card. Okay, so ending with the key tells me that yes, John, love you, even if he's seductive. Or maybe if he used unconventional ways, you know, with the snake to go to your heart, he is someone who loves you. Okay? So this is quite a short video and maybe it's, you know, it's evidence for many, but I found that many people had asked me, how do I know with the range of meaning that one card has, how do I know, how do I apply it to my situation? So the, the easiest answer is context, darling. Okay, context, context, you frame your question, in the context and you always reply to the question don't go into details there because you know then you're looking for what is not there you know finding the snake maybe you are thinking about another woman your question does not if your question was uh, is John truthful to me here I will say yes but there is another woman but the question is not that the question is does he loves me so you stick to your frame question and you reply to it okay then if you want more details you pull more cards you know you add more cards to it and then you will have you know more precision and more details okay so this is very 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 important and I've tried my best here to explain it to you the clearest possible okay and I hope that it will really 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 help you in your understanding of the Lenormand. Before we leave I, I want to point out something okay so some people have asked me you know I have asked a question with a deck and then ask the same question to another deck and the card has you know the first one was positive and the second one is negative which one do I need to trust? So the first thing is don't do that don't do that, please, 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 please. Like we say in French, c'est interdit. Don't do that. Stick to your first approach, you know, even if you don't want to hear. Like as I always say, the cards are always right. It's our interpretation that is sometimes, you know, problematic. So don't do that. Use only one deck and ask your question only once. You don't want to pull cards until you see what you want to see. You want the oracle to be honest with you, so take what it has to give you. Note down the reading, maybe you're not prepared to look at it yet, and then put it aside and come back to it, you know, in a later date, and you will see that the oracle is always right and always says the truth. So leaving you with the, all this information and I send you love, life and blessing and of course don't forget to subscribe, to like, to share it with your friends and to talk about it around you. Till next time, I will catch you on the next video and I send you my blessing. Bye.